Yo, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. All right, check it out. Today, I'm gonna be doing a quick little walk around and review of the Xmark Laser Z X Series. This one's got 1,400 hours on it. I'm actually about 20 minutes away from dropping it off at my dealer, we're picking up our brand new Laser Z uh, X, and we're also gonna be picking up our Star S, which I'm super excited about. So, if you guys have been in the market for a Laser Z, this is the uh, Laser Z Kohler 34 big block with the uh, Red Tech. It's a 60 inch mower, and I will give you guys my little debrief after running uh, 1400 hours on it and having it for three years. All right, let's jump inside, we'll check it out. Make, 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 make the ground shake. All right guys, so what's up? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys for just a quick minute here about the Laser Z X and the mower that we're basically trading in right now to go pick up our brand new mower. I gotta get running here, so I'm gonna try to keep this review just five or seven minutes long. In fact, a lot of you guys saw my um, Laser Z X series review when I had, I think maybe 100 hours on it. I did a video in 2016, obviously it was two or three years ago, and you know, a lot of you guys are Xmark people, Xmark fans, a lot of you guys uh, wanna know more about X mark mowers, right? Uh, I'm not here to convince. I'm not here to uh, sell you guys on it. I'm just here to give my honest review, just to share a little bit more about the mower to you guys. Um, a lot of review videos that I've always seen on YouTube are usually outdated or they're shot with like a shaky cam camera phone and you know there's just not a lot of meat and potatoes behind it right so i don't have it all figured out um if you guys are new to my channel i'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful business so you guys can go out there and crush it and uh zero turn mowers obviously staple part of a lawn care landscaping business so let me do a little walk around show you guys with my thoughts um i do have some negatives that i have experienced with the mower so i want to make sure that i'm fair uh talk to you guys about both the pros and the cons so let's do a little walk around here i'll show you guys the mower and just kind of weigh in on it, uh, my experience over the last three years. Now, I will say this, uh, I apologize for any shadows. It's really bright out right now, I'm trying to keep it in the shade so I can get the camera on it. Uh, re real life shooting YouTube videos at uh, six o'clock at night, right? So here's the deal, uh, just to reiterate, it is a Laser Z X series. We have the Red Tech. Now this is the first gen Red Tech or whatever you want to call it. So basically I've got the red th uh, rocker switch with the uh, low, medium, and high. We have the three red dots that tell us about our oil temperature, our oil pressure, I believe, a little, uh, a couple little upgrades uh, that are uh, above and beyond the regular uh, X series with just the uh, carbureted Cowie. So that being said, this is the Kohler Big Block 34. Uh, we got your oil filter. Uh, oil where you can add. We've got the air filter. Uh, drain plug is down here. Really simple stuff. Uh, I think this one has the Turf Master tires on here. Uh, mine has the double stack pulleys and completion kit. That's what you need for the bagger system for the Ultravac. We've got the uh, front weight uh, bumper here where we add the uh, farmer's carry kind of weights that go on uh, the front. We also have the caster wheel weights that go over here. Uh, this little bulldog jack was brand new, so I'm not going to really talk about that right now. And then uh, this was just an additional little upgrade. This is the Jungle Gym uh, Zero Turn Trimmer Rack. You can get those at Jungle, Jungle Gym's Accessories, I think it is, uh, .com or something like that. And then on the back here, you can see we have the completing kit for the bumper, and this is where the bagger would attach to. Now, all things being said, let me see if I can turn this on really quick show you the hours so you guys can see that it's authentic. All right, hopefully you guys can see that 948 on this meter. Now here's the deal. Uh, we did have to replace the hour meter and I'll get into that in a few minutes here. Uh, the original hour meter had about 420 hours. So we're right at that 1450, maybe 1500-ish uh, hour meter mark. Uh, the seat, so far so good. Uh, I take care of my stuff, owner operator. I've had a couple of buddies on here, but nothing too crazy. Uh, the seat has held up just fine. The uh, deck, the spindles, everything has been just fine. Uh, front casters, nothing to really complain about. I did crack one uh, at the neck, so I had to replace this. It wasn't cheap. Uh, it might have been 100 or 200 bucks, so that was a wear point. All the casters uh, on the deck have been probably replaced at least once. Uh, just the bearings inside, they don't last forever. Uh, but you know what? Each one of those are maybe 30, 40 bucks. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, and you only replace those every few years. Again, we have 1,500 hours on this unit in three years. It's not the most. You know, I know some folks uh, can put, a, you know, 700 hours on one of these if you got a 10 month season. You got to realize that we have uh, six or seven month seasons up here in Michigan. And so we're basically averaging four to five 
hundred hours. I probably did 350 my first year, probably 450 or 500 my next year, and then last year we we killed it. We did five or six hundred hours uh, for sure on this unit. Uh, mine does have the OCD uh, X Mark discharge chute. This whole system right here would attach to this foot pedal, it uh, clamps onto this part of the frame. The uh, cable will throttle underneath here and filter out through here and attach right here for the discharge flap. Now, I don't have mine on right now uh, just because we're trading it in. I just wanted to make sure to uh, bring all the hardware here for my trade in. We're going to get a new uh, OCD on the new mower. Uh, this right here, about a $300 option. Uh, I love OCDs. I think they are super beneficial to anybody buying a new mower. So make sure you uh, add an OCD. Stand on or sit down doesn't make any difference to me, but I think they're very, very helpful. Now, in terms of productivity and how do we actually like the unit, guys, I got to be honest with you, like this is arguably the top of the line zero turn mower that's out right now definitely in the x mark category you might be able to do like a 72 horse um, or a 70, 72 horse a 72 inch deck with a 39 horse there might be a different engine option out there but in terms of guys running a long care landscaping business and owner operator this is pretty much like your top of the line mower okay and that's the one i wanted i have actually ran uh, an x mark laser z s uh, s series mower and we did, same thing but uh, did about 1400 to 1500 hours on that it was actually my very first youtube video uh, and that's where this whole crazy story got started about doing youtube right um, and that was a good mower the uh, E S and X just to help you guys out with that one uh, E is like a really good entry to get into a laser uh, I think they're uh, a great mower uh, 25 horse maybe and a 60 inch deck you can get those for about nine grand not a bad starting point if you want to go team X mark and if you just want to get in the game with a good zero turn mower uh, the S and the X you'll start having some different upgrades with spindles tires seats uh, maybe a little bit different technology on there some different creatures comforts stuff like that uh, and then the x series ultra six series cutting deck uh, i just feel like it um, can process more grass than the e uh, maybe not the s but definitely the e series so i feel like it can cut grass faster discharge it better um, just some observations from when i had to use like an e or an s as a loner anytime this broke down uh, that being said, if you're uh, an owner operator and you're just getting started in business, I think the E and the S are a great option for you. If you are an owner operator with a, an established business or you have some pockets that can uh, float a two, three hundred dollar month payment on a zero turn, or you just want the best and you're just one of those people, uh, which is fine, I'm the same way. <laughs> the X series is a great option, a great way to go. Uh, Kawasaki versus Kohler, I've done some videos on that one. I'll try to leave a card here uh, if you guys want to see what other folks are weighing in. Uh, I like the Kohler. I like the EFI. I'll tell you straight up. Um, I know my numbers and they always claim that you'll save 5, 10, 20% on your fuel savings and efficiency, yes, you will. Uh, I know for a fact that I can go through a day like eight hours cutting with uh, this unit with a Kohler, the EFI, versus a Kawasaki, because I've demoed uh, Kawis as loners. Definitely not as fuel efficient. They're not bad, uh, but I know for a fact that I was filling up the Kawis way more often than the Kohler. So I'm a big, uh, if you're an owner operator guy, probably go with an EFI. If you're a, um, a, a larger outfit and you have employees, might just want to go with the the Kawasaki plus the carbureted uh, engines are a lot easier to work on I'm not mechanically inclined so Lord knows Cowie or Kohler I'm taking to my dealer if any red lights turn on right so just being real with you guys what else can I wait in for you guys um, so the at the end of the day productivity wise this thing's a tank man uh, if you guys have watched my vlogs and our day in the life videos you know that I cut uh, 20 30 40 lawns a day no problem and we ripped this thing man the ground speed is uh, the transport speed is fast uh, I like it um, overall just a really solid mower now I will say this uh, some things I did not like about the mower was the seat switch so long story short uh, what happened was when I got my mower the very first year the very first three or four months it was great had about 150 to 200 hours on it uh, unfortunately though <clears throat> and this was a process of elimination the seat kept uh, triggering the seat switch kept going off instead of on or on instead of off whatever and basically the mower would uh, die so it was really really inconvenient uh, I was I totally honest with you I was really frustrated uh, brand new mower ready to rock and roll 
Uh, here's the deal. My dealer, Weingart, great people. They were a gem. Uh, they warranted out everything that they could. Uh, eventually, it started going up the the, 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 uh, the line. Xmark realized, like, hey, some stuff was going on with the mower. And this was way, way before YouTube, so don't throw that whole, like, hey, you're special because of YouTube. It has nothing to do with it. Great customer service with Xmark. Um, so what we ended up doing was we warrantied out, uh, initially was the seat switch, uh, then we ended up warranting out the meter, hence why I have a meter with 950 hours on it. My first meter had, like I said, four, 420 I think it was. And after neither the seat switch or the meter were um, getting rid of the issue, and again, I'd have to drop this mower off for like a week at a time, pick it up, drop it off, pick it up. It was crazy. Like. Uh, the first year I had it, around the 250 hour mark, uh, meter mark, uh, I ended up basically just turning this thing back in for about three weeks. It was, it was actually really depressing, but this is an honest review, gotta give you the good and the bad, right? So what Xmark did is they actually warrantied out the whole freaking seat. I don't know how much it costs, I think it was like 700 to 900 bucks, the whole assembly. So they took out the, I don't know if it was the frame, but definitely the whole seat with the switch. However, since they fixed the seat switch, no issues. That was two years ago. We've been running hot ever since. Uh, but I don't think that's a very typical issue. It's not like wheels are falling off and the spindles are burning up, um, engines are breaking down. None of those issues, thank God. So 1500 hours. Um, I did actually have one engine repair. So the Kohler uh, had a gasket that uh, leaked or something like that. Some seal went. It was like a uh, it would have been a $150 repair, but actually the Kohler was like three years under warranty or something like that, or maybe five years, I don't even know. And it was actually really cool that was warrantied out as well, uh, so no worries there. But again, the biggest things I think that most of you guys are uh, trying to determine are uh, the E-Series S or X. I'm a big proponent of the uh, E-Series if you're just getting into the game uh, for an X-Mark guy, right? And then the uh, X-Series personally if you're looking for the most productive uh, mower with cut it's not cheap like this was a fleet deal i think i paid 12.4 this was three years ago i know brand new it's like 15 grand 15.4 with the uh, the kohler i would suggest if you can get a uh fleet deal maybe with a z and then a walk behind like turf tracer or maybe the new saris or even the stand on aerator uh it's a lot of money it's like 20 plus grand probably for both but at least you can get that fleet and at least when I bought mine, I think it saved me uh, 15 or 18 percent. So all things being said, um, I love it. Uh, definitely Team X Mark. You guys know that. If you've watched my channel from the very beginning, my very first review video was the Laser Z S series, 1500 hours on it. We traded it in. Uh, we've always been Team X Mark on Brian's All Maintenance YouTube channel. And uh, shout out to my dealer Weingart. Shout out to uh, X Mark. Both just great people on both sides. Way before we were partners with them on our channel. Uh, but any which way, if you guys are going to go pick one of these up wholeheartedly endorse it. I love it. I wouldn't run any other uh, zero turn. That's a fact. Um, I've demoed the uh, Skag Turf Tiger 2, also a really good unit. If you got a Skag dealer, I don't think you could go wrong with a Skag Turf Tiger 2. However, I don't think that anything is going to process and cut uh, wet grass uh, as well as the ultra cut deck and even just regular mowing conditions nothing is going to cut like an ultra cut deck my opinion um, i know if you guys feel the same way leave me a comment down below let me know your thoughts but when it comes to productivity fuel efficiency ride comfort um, just build quality i think this is the mower to go with so if this review sounds a little biased it is because you know what I freaking bought this mower with my money and I'm gonna shoot you straight, I love it. And so that's why we're Team X Mark, that's why we're gonna remain Team X Mark and um, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, shoot a big thumbs up. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you guys run a Laser Z? Do you, are you guys trying to pick up an E or an S series? Let me know. Um, that being said, guys, we'll catch up with you here on the next video. Bye-bye.